Hello everyone and welcome back to Jackal Educational Channel. In this video, we are going to discuss and know about the biogeographical zones in India and the trick how to remember those biogeographical zones and classifications for the examination purpose. So it will be very interesting and as simple as A, B, C, D. So that will be very interesting. Without wasting much time, let's get started. So first of all, we should know what is meant by the biogeographical zones. So yes, there are total 10 biogeographical classification. Bio means life. That means based on the flora and fauna, the geographic zones, the geographic locations in India are divided into 10 parts. So who did this geographic classification? It was done by Rogers and Pawar. So yeah, in 1988, they proposed this kind of classification of India into 10 biogeographic zones. So what are those? Let's see one by one. First is Trans Himalaya. So Trans means the meaning of Trans means on the other side. So other side of Himalaya is the region which is the northernmost part of India. So that is the first thing Trans Himalaya. Second comes the Himalaya. Then we can go to Gangetic Plains that is Ganga region. Fourth we can go to deserts region in India. Fifth is the semi-arid region which is the transition between the Deccan Plateau and the desert region. So next the thing is Deccan Plateau as we have discussed now. Next thing we can take as northeast part of India and next is the coastal regions in India. So here this coastal belt is shown. We can also take here and here Goa and Kerala region. Similarly, Western Ghat is one of the biogeographical zones in India and islands are also one of the 10 categories of biogeographical zones in India. So now the question arises, what is the basis of this categorization? So kis aadhar pe in a divide kiya gaya tha? This classification was done using various factors such as altitude, moisture, topography and rainfall region in these areas. So on this basis, the zones were divided into 10 categories. So now we will see how to remember all these things because it is very important and in net exam also they are asking by giving examples to locate whether this is one of the biogeographical zones or not. So now we will know a mnemonic to remember all these 10 zones. So it is very simple. Kindly look at this video very sincerely. So what happens is we will note down all the 10 biogeographical zones. So I have written down here. You should note it down in your notes. So kindly note if you are not having the notes, try to bring the note and note it down. It will be very helpful. So you should know as I have said in our previous also tricks videos they are present. You can check the link given in the description. So all the initial alphabet you have to remember. That means for Western Ghats you should remember W, for Island I, Northeast India N, Deserts D, Himalaya H, Trans Himalaya T, Deccan Peninsula D, Gangetic Plain G, Coastal Line that is Coast C and Semi Arid Zone as S. So we will write it down W, I, N, D, H, T, D, G, C and S. So these are the initial alphabets from the 10 biogeographical zones of India. So aapko kya yaad rakhna hai? Wow. So our country is very incredible, incredible India. So wow aapko yaad rakhna hai. So from wow, W is clear. So the complete mnemonic is wow, India. IND means India. In cricket you used to learn and you used to know that if it is match is going on, India is represented as IND. So IND mein teen biogeographical zones aa jayenge. Islands, Northeast India and deserts. Then you have to remember, wow, India has 10 different geographical classification systems. So, ye bahut simple, I guess. Aur ek bar main repeat kar deta hon. Wow, India has 10 different geographical classification systems. So, I hope you like this mnemonic. So, it is as simple as ABCD learning in our school days. So, it was very simple. And I hope you will never forget this trick and these 10 biogeographical zones. Whenever you are asked about the question, you will be able to answer it very easily. So to know about all the characteristic features of these regions, I will make a separate video where we will discuss all the characteristic features, the flora, fauna and the all the abiotic factors related to these zones. So that's all in this part of the video. If you like this, give a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe the channel to get more interesting videos like this. So see you guys in our next video.